Hello everyone, welcome again. Now we will continue our Q&A session and today's topic is still about fleet flow, fleet flow in a porous media. And especially it's about incompressible fluid, steady state flow with linear flow shape. Okay, so this is our case. An incompressible fluid flows in a linear porous media with the following properties. So we have the length of the reservoir section here, the length 2000 feet, and then the height or the thickness of the reservoir, vertical thickness, and then the width 300 feet, and then permeability 100 millidarcies, porosity 15%, viscosity 2 centipoise, and then pressure at 0.1 or inlet pressure 2000 psi here and at the outlet pressure p2 1990 psi here and we need to calculate the flow rate in barrels per day also apparent fluid viscosity apparent fluid velocity in feet per day and actual fluid velocity also in feet per day Okay, so first I'm going to list down all the data. So inlet pressure 2000 and the outlet pressure 1990 PSI. So the pressure drop is quite small. Maybe it's not a reservoir or yes, maybe it's, it's a reservoir because it's 2000 feet. So it's impossible if it is a core. Okay, so it must be a section of reservoir okay anyway the permeability is 100 millidarcies and the thickness of the reservoir 20 feet whereas the width of the reservoir 300 width is is here and then i'm sorry it should be 2000 and then 20 and then 300 Viscosity of the fluid, centipoise. Not necessarily oil, so I'm just going to use viscosity like this. And then the flow regime, it's steady state. Okay, steady state flow. And the flow, the flow shape is linear. Okay, so this is the schematic of our reservoir section and we can just calculate the and solve the question. All right, so for flow rate in barrels per day, first we need to calculate the cross-sectional area here. So here for cross-sectional area, and we will assume it's uniform constant cross-sectional area from, from the left to the right, across this length, all right? Across this reservoir, the cross-sectional area, we assume it's constant, it's uniform across the reservoir. So first I'm going to borrow this one, copy and paste, all right? And then we just calculate A, I'm going to borrow this one. Okay, so A, it should be easy, right? It should be square foot. Let me change the format, superscript. Okay, so it should be thickness multiplied by the width. Okay, I should change it to L. And this one is H. All right, so it should be thickness multiplied by the width. So it's 6,000 square foot. Okay. And then the next one is we can calculate the flow rate. It is Q in barrels per day. Okay, 
So let's calculate 0 0.001127 multiplied by the permeability 100 milliDarcy's multiplied by area 6,000 square foot multiplied by inlet pressure minus outlet pressure and all of them divided by open parenthesis viscosity multiplied by the length of the reservoir close all right i'm going to expand a little bit so it's 1.69 barrels per day all right you can see you can assume or you can guess across this 2000 feet of reservoir section the pressure drop is only 10 psi so the the flow rate must be quite small and yeah it's it is proven here that the flow rate is only 1.7 barrels per day okay and the next one is calculate the apparent fluid velocity it's very easy and straightforward so if we are talking about apparent velocity it should be v velocity in feet per day it's just flow rate divided by the cross-sectional area this one divided by this one i'm going to expand a little bit okay so by the way i need to convert the flow rate with a unit conversion to make it fit per day it is multiplied by 5.615 all right because a is in square foot and this one is still in barrels so i should convert this one in barrels per day to cubic foot okay I'm going to check whether we have that in Excel. So I'm going to use convert function, convert this one from barrels. Let's check for barrels. Right now, or oh, this one barrel from barrel to This one, cubic foot. Okay. I'm going to borrow this one, a conversion, unit conversion. So it's going to take this one, one barrels is two cubic foot. So let's check the unit conversion. This one. So 5.615. This is the unit conversion to convert from barrel to cubic foot. So I'm going to take that point, that value here. All right. So the apparent velocity flow rate divided by the cross-sectional area is 0 0.00158 or sorry better like this 0 0.0016 in feet per day so that's the velocity apparent velocity but if you are talking about the actual fluid velocity we must multiply the cross-sectional area with the porosity because at the end of the day not the entire cross-sectional area is contributive to the flow all right there will be only fraction of the total cross-sectional area that is actually useful for the flow and the effective area is 
porosity multiplied by the total cross-sectional area. So let's just calculate it. I'm going to copy this formula and then paste it here. Okay, the same and then just add porosity. Where is the porosity? It's 15% to be multiplied with the cross-sectional area of 6,000 square foot. All right, so this is the actual fluid velocity. It is actually higher than the apparent velocity. Why? Because the denominator is now smaller. All right, it's now porosity multiplied by the cross-sectional area, which is, of course, smaller than the total cross-sectional area. And the actual fleet velocity is 0 0.0105 in feet per day. All right, so yeah, in this case, we have talked about an incompressible fluid flow, steady state flow in a linear reservoir section. We calculated the cross-sectional area, the flow rate, apparent velocity, and actual fluid velocity. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Q&A videos. Thank you.